albums dropping in November, November 21st. Radioactive will be everywhere. And I mean, from people who are familiar with my music, from Trump music, what they can expect is an evolution, you know, like a growth. We were careful not to alienate the fans we created with Trump music because, like, creatively, I can go anywhere. And that's a good and a bad thing, like, because I could easily just do any anything that I want creatively, really, in the studio. And I've made the mistake before of going so quickly left with a record or an idea that it doesn't translate with the fans. And we've got crazy features on this album, but not just for namesake. It's not for bragging rights. We actually we're really focused on making great songs. I've got Gangsta Boo and Eminem on one record called Throw It Up, which is a culture mind just to have us three on a record, like, it's epic, you know. Um, I've got production on there from Diplo on a record called Animal featuring Fifi Dobson. But those are the only two features I'm really gonna put out there, only because I want people to just to remain excited and, and surprised when they when they peel the package off, you know. Jimmy Johnson played Eminem, Pop the Trump. Well, after he saw Pop the Trump, he, he checked out Trump music on his way back to Detroit. And uh, it was shortly after where he called us out for a meeting. I just thought that it was just, you know, an introduction. But my management, my crew didn't even tell me until it was official that I was gonna be on Shady Records. So they, they kept it as a surprise to me for a couple months. As far as working with the rest of the crew out of uh, Shady, you know, Slaughterhouse, when we get together, we just vibe out. You know, being around them, their skill set, and they spent so many years perfecting their style, and they're all vets, man. They've all been in and out of the game, and there's never no hate. It's always congratulations and what you got going on. And it's crazy energy, man. You know, of course, the roots of hip hop, coming from New York and the Bronx, they'll always have that to claim. What the South has just because of the music that we're surrounded by, whether it's coming from church or whether it's coming, whether that melody's coming from um, country or whether that melody's coming from blues or funk. There's a real sense of melody and um, cadence that in the South, there's always been this underlying like appreciation for like soul in music, you know? And just like from any other culture, from any side of the globe, you know, once something goes pop, you're gonna have a bunch of kids following it. So when it got super simple, and it got snap music, and everybody started doing it, and then they're like, well, everybody's like that out there. But it's never been the case, you know? 